Welcome to Handmade by Alyssa Han. In this video, I'll be working on this Queen Anne accent table, and I'll be using many different techniques, so watch the video to see what I do. There's a few things I need to do before I can get started. I want to fill the holes and sand them smooth. Uh, the top was flaking, the, the, the finish was, so I had to sand that down so it would be smooth and ready for paint. Um, and then also uh, had to get that bottom trimming um, evened out and trimmed off. Um, to me, it kind of looks like an appendage and I really don't want that on my furniture. So I love the curves of the legs, but here at the bottom of the drawers, I would like a nice clean line. Once it's all set and ready to go, uh, I scrub the whole piece down with a liquid sander deglosser to prep for paint. I chose the color linen for paint. It's a nice warm white with just a touch of cream. On the sides, I decided I'd like to have striping. So I have to go ahead and tape here and I used a small piece of tape to help separate the, the width of the stripes that I wanted. Using a small stencil sponge, I blend the colors Stonehenge and cappuccino, a gray and tan. this great idea of using a spray adhesive over a stencil and then applying gold leafing foil over the adhesive on that was stenciled on the surface. However, it didn't quite stick the way I wanted it to. Some of it was on there, so there is nice flex of gold leafing in the top, but as you see, as I try to brush and remove, a lot of it came off. I'm thinking that the next time I try to do that, I need to find a different adhesive that's a little bit more strong, maybe like a Gorilla Glue, and I'm betting it'll work. Sometimes you have to pivot when you experiment and you learn something uh, and it doesn't go the way you planned. You have to come up with another idea. And I still was really set on having some gold design to the top of this piece. So I used the same stencil, but I pulled out my gold antiquing gel and um, blended that into the remaining gold leaf that did attach. Now to finish the sides, I used oil rubbed black antiquing gel by brushing it on and wiping off any excess. And if it dries too quickly, you can always mist water and it comes off a little easier. And it just added great depth to the striping. Then decoupaged paper to the drawer fronts. For some extra elegance, I used gold rub and buff over the edges of the top and the edges of the drawer fronts. Details matter, and in one of these drawers, there was a little bit of discoloring, so I chose to find another elegant paper that had some metallic in it, just to coordinate with the rest of the metallics, and cut it to size, and then um, lined the drawers. This was such a fun project to do. I really enjoyed the multiple applications and techniques, and it was just a really creative project. And I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the video and seeing all the steps and the process, and it's such an elegant, yet still neutral in its color um, piece of furniture. And um, if you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my page and follow along.